Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mustad Kunur Academy. Friends, in this video, I will show you how to conduct an experiment that is a difference amplifier using op-amp 741. In order to perform this simulation, I am using the software that is Proteus 8. First of all, we will see its circuit diagram. In this circuit diagram, it consists of total 4 registers. 3 registers are connected at input and 1 register is connected in the feedback. Now it's time to perform its simulation. First of all, we have to select the op-amp 741. To select op-amp 741, click on the component mode, click on P and here type op-amp. In keyword, we have to type it as op-amp. Here we can see that the different operational amplifier ICs are going to appear in the list. We have to select the operational amplifier here. Just double click on it. Once you double click, that is going to appear in this list. Likewise, we also need a resistor. Type resistor here. Here you can see that different types of resistors are going to appear in this list. But we need a generic resistor symbol. Just double click on it and that is going to appear on the list. Likewise, we also need a DC source for that. Mm -hmm. Just type V source here, or you can type it as DC source. Type it as DC source. Here, we have to select V source since we need DC voltage. Hence, we have to select the V source. Just double click on it, that is going to appear in the list. Friends, we are done with the component selection. Now, it's time to construct a circuit. Click on OK. First, we have to select this 741. Just click on it and click on this workspace. Here you can see that the pin number 3 is on upper side and pin number 2 is on lower side. For the sake of convenience, I will Y mirror it. Now, we will take the resistors here. And one resistor at the feedback. Let's change its value. I will make it as instead of 10k, I will make it as 1k. You can select the values as per your requirement and make it feedback as 1k and R3 as 1k. Click OK. Now I will make the connection. Let's see the circuit diagram. The R1 is connected to pin number 2 and R2 is connected to pin number 3 and one more register is connected to ground from pin number 3. Here I have to make the connection and let's connect this feedback register here. Connect this feedback register. We need a power. For that, go to terminal mode, select power. Connect this to pin number 4. To pin number 4, we have to apply negative 12 volt, minus 12 volt. To pin number 7, we have to apply plus 12 volt. Click on OK. We also need a ground pin or ground connection to connect this to ground. Now it's time to apply the DC voltage source at the input and we have to observe the output at pin number 6. Select this V source. Connect V1 to R1. Connect V2 to R2. We need ground. You can copy this ground from here. Or you can also select it directly from term the terminals. Select ground and make the connection. Yes, friends, we have applied the DC voltage that is V1 and V2 at the input. Now it's time to observe the output. In order to observe the output, we need a DC voltmeter. Since we have given, given here a DC voltage source, hence we have to select the DC voltmeter here. Select the DC voltmeter and connect it to pin number 6 and 
the negative we have to connect it to ground since i have given the equivalent voltage hence i should get the zero voltage at the output let's run the simulation here we can see that we are obtaining the zero voltage now I will change its value stop this simulation since the output is v2 minus v1 i will make its value as instead of 1 volt i will make it as 5 volt here we have to get that is 5 minus 1 here we have to get the 4 volt that is positive 4 volt let's run the simulation here we can see that we are obtaining the plus 4 volts friends in this way we conduct the subtractor or difference amplifier using op amp 741 thank you